I like the story of Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was looking at a book about, well, I, I guess, uh, reproduction of Picasso's, and he said, uh, damn him, he like throws the book and he says, damn him, he's done it all. Of course, Picasso did do it all, except for what Jackson Pollock did. And uh, Jackson Pollock took the drip from the teeth of Guernica, the teeth of the horse. In Guernica, there's one horse that has just little drips. It might be, you know, Picasso isn't one for drips. It might be the, they're the only drips that I'm really familiar with in Picasso's work. It's like Jackson took the drips from the mouth of the horse and then he took that small aspect and created a new vocabulary, a new uh, very uh, American work of art. Uh, the joy of moving through the process of discovery uh, belongs to every new artist or as T.S. Eliot said, every generation translates for itself. And it's up to us to both embrace history and break it apart, blow it up even. But um, anyway. feel the skin of canvas. I know it's not right to touch paintings. You know, when you go in museums, first time I got yelled at when I was a teenager, touching the Digliani, I just had to feel the texture, or the, just the, the way the paint, de Kooning. I, it's, it's like, I almost have to put mittens on you know, like when you have chicken pox, you know, you cover up your hands and uh, so you don't scratch yourself and make little scars. That's how I feel looking at de, Kooning, de Kooning's paintings, that I should have little cloth mittens on. But, of course, if one does one's own, then you can touch it all you like. 